So hi guys, this is Josie and in today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experiences ending a long-term relationship and kind of what I did in order to move on and also how I found myself again as a result of this breakup. I wasn't sure if this was a video you guys would want to hear but I asked on Discord and a few of you guys did say that it would be helpful so even if it helps just one person I feel like this is a video that's worth making so that's what we're doing today. Just some background for those of you who do not know me. I was in a relationship for six and a half years. My ex and I had a YouTube channel together and we broke up it's been over a year ago now sometime around August last year and I am now in a much better place uh, I've met someone new and we're planning on getting married next year the process of getting here has been very taxing and I just want to kind of share a little bit about that because um, we broke up uh, but we still stayed in touch for a while actually because um, when you're together for so long, you're kind of each other's everything. So he wasn't only like my boyfriend, he was also my best friend and my support system. And especially because we were in Korea, he was the only one I knew really. Uh, so when we broke up, I kind of felt very lost because I didn't want to have to go back to Sweden. I did end up moving out into a little one bedroom apartment. I think that was a really big step towards like regaining control over myself. It was very difficult in the beginning because I'm so used to having this person next to me and now I'm alone all of a sudden and that was very a very long process mentally and emotionally to kind of just come to terms with the fact that we're not a we anymore. I am myself and especially for me uh, I met my ex when I was in a very bad mental state. I didn't have any ambitions, I didn't have any goals, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And when I met him, he kind of gave me a purpose. But the unhealthy part was my purpose was him. So I didn't really have a sense of self-identity. I wasn't sure what I wanted for myself. I wasn't sure what I liked by myself. I wasn't sure who I was when I was alone. I used to be half a person and I needed someone to complete me. But after the breakup, I finally found myself again. I found my voice, I found my drive, I found my passion. Things that interest me were interesting again, like fashion, makeup, hairstyles. It sounds like such a vain thing, but when I was in a relationship, I suppressed a lot of those things just because I wanted to fit into his preferences. I was just trying so hard to match his energy or his levels and it was really draining on me because that wasn't who I was naturally. So it took a long time afterwards for me to kind of realize that what the dynamic was was very toxic because I would try really hard to stay fit or like lose weight all the time. I was always dieting. I was trying really hard to not wear the type of clothing that he didn't like. I tried so hard to just be the type of girl that he likes. In the end, that wasn't healthy for me and it wasn't who I was. But I suppressed so much of my personality during those years. During like the fundamental years when you're in your 20s, you're developing your personality, but I was suppressing mine. So when I got out of the relationship, I spent a lot of time just reconnecting and connecting with new friends, making new friends, hanging out with people, realizing what kind of fashion I like again. And yeah, just finding my independence again was very, very, very important for me because I had felt like such a half person, such a shell of myself. But as I was meeting people, hearing that they enjoy my company and this is during the time that I got really close to Hattie as well who is my like my rock my absolute best friend in Korea I love her so much because without her I think I would have been in a really dark place at the time why am I getting emotional I just yeah my friends were I'm, I'm such a sappy baby I just love my friends so much but yeah my friends are such amazing people you shouldn't try to base yourself 
only on your relationship. Don't cut out your friends. Don't cut out your social life. Don't cut out your interest just to match someone else. Be your own full person. And then your partner is just a bonus to that. So with my partner now, I feel like I can be my full self. And he encourages me, he supports me, and I don't feel the need to constantly try to adjust to him. The reason I love him so much is because he allows me to be independent. But then if I do mention like, oh, I really want to try this or I want to do this, I want to buy this type of clothing, he always encourages me. Close to our area. Well, that was great. <laughs> And he's just such a supportive and amazing guy and I'm so grateful to have him in my life. And I will make a proper Q&A about my fiancé. He's not just my boyfriend, he's my fiancé. Because I know a lot of you guys are probably curious about him and about our relationship and stuff like that. So we'll probably do a Q&A later. But more about moving on from a breakup, I do think that giving yourself time to properly heal and process things is very important especially in the beginning so I spent a lot of time just emotionally rebuilding myself because I wasn't sure who I was without the relationship because it had been six and a half years and now I feel so much more confident in myself uh, I realized that my body image and my weight was never the issue I gained maybe 12 kilos since the breakup but what's funny is that I feel more confident and more happy about my appearance now than when I was 10 kilos lighter. Now, I have started dieting again because I do want to lose weight for our wedding next year. So I have slowly started uh, taking care of what I'm eating and exercising way more. But that's my own decision to do so. I didn't do it because I felt like I had to because of my partner. Once you've kind of processed your emotions, I do think it's also very important to have a little bit of fun. So that's also what I did after breaking up. I went on a few like Tinder dates. I went to some clubs with my friends. I drank and I danced and I had some hookups and everything. And I feel like that was also important for me to feel desired as a single woman now you don't need a man's validation to be desired or feel desired or be worthy but that was just my process and i felt like that really helped me because i could feel yeah i could feel wanted as a woman i felt attractive and that was a lot of that was such a confidence boost for me uh, but i realized pretty quickly that the you know one night stands or hookups wasn't really my thing like if i wanted to date i wanted to find someone that i could spend my life with and that's a pretty heavy thing to throw on people if you're just matched on tinder or <laughs> if you're meeting on a dating app it's kind of hard to find someone who has the mindset of i'm looking for a serious relationship but eventually i found my guy and he wasn't scared of those topics at all he was also in the same mindset so i'll leave that for a different video but it definitely helps to know what you're looking for and i do think that my experience of having a long-term relationship kind of made me more sure of what i was looking for in a relationship so when i did meet the one i instantly knew yeah process your emotions have a little bit of fun connect with your friends and build up your self-identity have be your own full person before you try to find another person to compliment you so i think that was very important for me to realize that i can be myself i can have my ambitions i can pursue what i want and my partner will only be a compliment to that but another thing that was really difficult about ending a long-term relationship like that was not only did we live together, I knew his parents. I used to live together with his dad as well. And I love his family so much. They've always been so welcoming and supportive of me. So that was also such a big thing to let go of. And 
to put another layer to that because we had the YouTube channel together. We had all these people supporting us and rooting for our relationship and people wouldn't know what's going on behind the scenes. They wouldn't know how much we were fighting, how much we were arguing because I lived there. There was a few weeks where we had actually broken up, but I was still living there. So it was very difficult time emotionally but yeah once i did move out it was much better but that was also a different struggle as i mentioned in the beginning but just take your time because not everyone heals the same way so just you will know when you're ready to date again or you will know when you're ready to move on it's just about really accepting that the future that you thought was going to happen is not happening anymore and you have to be strong enough and build yourself up to know that you can build a future for yourself just know that you're worthy even if you're not with someone you're a worthy person as you are you're a full individual you're the total package and you will find someone who is going to fit into who you are and appreciate you for who you are you should not have to change yourself to be with a partner and I really want you guys to know that I don't know if this video was uh, very structured or organized but I kind of felt like I wanted a more chill type of video I wanted to just talk to you guys because this is a kind of sensitive topic and I wanted to kind of bring you guys with me um, obviously I'm in such a much better place now I am with the love of my life. I'm getting married next year. I have amazing friends who I love so much, like I said before. <laughs> and I love you guys so much. So I hope to see you in the next video. It will hopefully be a little bit more cheerful than this, but this is still a topic that a lot of people probably struggle with. So maybe my experiences and how I went through my breakup would be helpful for any of you guys and if it's not then maybe then i'm sorry why did you watch this <laughs> thank you so much for watching stay hydrated i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video hopefully coming next week Just grab a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or water, maybe. I don't have any, but if I did, I would. <laughs> I'm so matching. This is like my favorite color, by the way.